Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with a brand new Platinum Trophy Guide all in one video for Tokyo Ghoul Re Call to Exist. This is a pretty straightforward Platinum Trophy. The only downside is there is two specific online trophies that you can cheese with a friend and that is in the subsistence section which I'll eventually come back to that. The first half of most of the trophies that you'll earn are going to be in Recollections mode by just simply playing through the main uh, story of Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re. You'll skip a bunch of other steps, but there are some important ones that you will do and go through. And during that time, it's just going to be learning the game and stuff like that. I will say, though, the first time that you play as an investigator, it'll teach you about using most of the mechanics, i.e. using the pistols and all of the different grenades. And while you do that, um, in that first mission, you can easily get the three related trophies um, for uh, hitting five enemies with a um, RC grenade, um, setting so many enemies on fire, and then defeating so many enemies with a single grenade. You can easily do all that in the first mission that you play, and then by that point you should have a fair understanding of uh, how to play the game. Then the next thing you're going to want to be doing is mostly just the subsistence mode. And from there you'll be doing the campaign mode which will just be going through and doing side campaign stuff. Uh, you can also do that in Recollections to play it from a different character's perspective. I recommend doing that, that way you get the most amount of items and materials as this is going to be a very grindy game. So whenever you play this, um, the online is more or less going to be the battle section. As you'll see, you'll need to be able to connect to servers and play online. Um, you can create a room and then invite a friend and stuff like that. So what you have to do is do a... Let's see if I can make one. You have to do team deathmatch and point match. You just have to win five games of each one. It shouldn't take too long. Um, if you happen to be going up against a friend or whoever who is a little bit higher level than you are, then it's going to be a little bit more annoying um, on team deathmatch just because of the amount of damage their team is going to do versus your team so try and make it to where your characters are kind of evened out you know but then once you do those trophies the rest is just going to be um like i said grinding as you're going to need to get a lot of things done now you will need to do one survival mission on hard which not too bad the last thing that you're mainly going to be focusing on is unlocking all 200 of the accomplishments. As you can see, I've only got 65 done. Some of these are very specific, as you can see what you have to do. Um, you know, as you can see, most of them have very specific things that you can do to unlock them, either by doing things in normal or in um, hard mode, which I recommend just going through and playing all of them and then normal or hard whatever your choice and while you're doing that you are going to have at least three other ai playing with you and what you're going to need to do is revive them so whenever a, a friendly ai gets downed if you go over to them before another ai gets there you can hold right on the d-pad and that'll revive them you need to do that at least 30 times and that'll get you a trophy in itself but from there, basically, all you're trying to do is just, like I said, it's just going to be a grinding game. So what I mean by that is when you go to customization, uh, you can look at skills that you can unlock for your character. As you'll need to be able to spend all of the materials that you get from playing through all the missions and stuff over and over again. And eventually unlock all of the skills for everything. So, in the meantime of doing that, you should be doing, like I said, the accomplishments, and you'll be leveling up your actual character's level. 250 is just the minimum requirement that you have to do, and then the last couple of trophies is just going to be by defeating so many ghouls and so many uh, CCG investigators. And by that point, you should almost have the Platinum Trophy, if not already done by that point. So, yeah. Like I said, it's going to be a very grindy game, but overall it's not too terrible once you can get the two online trophies out of the way. The rest you can do offline by yourself. You do not have to play online at all. It's just, that's it. 
but hopefully this has been helpful or informative of some way um depending on things or if people need help you can leave that in the comment section uh, i'd be willing to help people out you know give them easy wins that way it's easier um other than that it's just repetition of constantly playing through his ghouls investigators and as part of the quink squad squad eh. but other than that this has been mr pilgrim and i'll see you all in the next trophy guide